Okay, a very brief video to explain what OpenSCAD is and how it works. Uh, this is not a tutorial. Uh, this is not something you can use to learn how to use OpenSCAD properly. This is just uh, something to give you an idea of what the software is about and what it can do. Uh, let me launch it first. Okay, so OpenSCAD is an open source piece of software that would basically take a piece of code, code written in, you know, OpenSCAD language, execute that code, and the result is 3D geometry, so a 3D object. All right, so here you have a 3D view. I'm going to pop open a text editor. Right. I'm going to ask OpenSCAD to open that file. All right, and I'm going to start creating an object. So I'm going to ask OpenSCAD to create a sphere. And notice when I save the file, OpenSCAD automatically detects that this file has been changed and recomputes um, the result. All right. All right, let me tessellate that sphere a little bit more. Fn is the variable that controls how tessellated an object needs to be. All right. On view, top view, there. All right, let me create another object. So I'm going to create a second sphere, but this one is going to be distorted a little bit. I'm going to stretch it by a factor of 2 in x and 0.5 in y and z. Okay, I've got myself an ellipsoid. Very nice. Now I'm going to ask OpenSCAD to um, subtract the ellipsoid from the sphere. All right, there I got a hole. Great. And then I'm gonna make more holes in that sphere, so I'm gonna create a module which is uh, open a scan's name for a function, a routine, a subroutine. Right, so subtract the hole from the sphere. Right, and then maybe I'm going to punch a second hole, but this time I'm going to rotate it, uh, say 90 degrees around Z. Did I? I know that was around Y. Well, let's actually do this. One around Z. And one around X. Right. See, I've got, I've punched three holes. Uh, one of the nice things of with uh, WinScan is you can actually force it to visualize the holes you're punching. Right, so this is the object I've created. Okay. So that, that's the basic idea. You type code. This code can have, uh, you know, fairly complex content. Uh, like I said, for loops, routines, the, the whole paraphernalia that's available in uh, traditional programming language is available here. Uh, the language itself is fairly easy to learn if you know things like, you know, JavaScript, C++, C, uh, Python. It's, uh, it's the, the syntax is familiar. It's got a functional flavor to it, but nothing weird. Um, yeah, another nice thing is you can actually find a lot of models on the internet. Uh, so for example, if you go to Thingiverse, you type uh, SCAD, you're gonna find a ton of things that are, you know, basically open SCAD programs that produce geometry. Like here's one that produced this weird, you know, screwless cube gear thing. Here's another here, whatever that is, thumb wheel. And you can just download the code, uh, I guess. Big file, let me see, SCAD, yep. Thumb wheel that SCAD and uh, thumb wheel, where is it, uh, here. So here's, you know, a fairly, well, complex piece of uh, OpenSCAD code. Let's try it. 
if it works. Open um, wheel M3. There it is. And uh, then, oh, by the way, there's there's a built-in editor inside of OpenSCAD for people who prefer this. Uh, I'm you know a VI user, so I tend to edit my files externally, but you can actually act on the files directly within OpenSCAD. So, and here's a nice thing: uh, OpenSCAD programs are by nature of being programs parametric, meaning, for example, this this object here is defined by a number of parameters here, like, you know, how finely it is tessellated, the radius of the thumb wheel, the height of the thumb wheel, etc., etc., etc. And if you want, you know, to change the object to suit your need, uh, it's fairly easy to change a parameter. Let's make that wheel thicker, for example, and hopefully uh, it will work. Uh, let me see, control S. There you go. Right, I've changed the thickness of the wheel. Um, it's it's one of the real nice thing about CODIS geometry is you can basically once once you've designed an object and if you've done it properly the design parameters can be varied so that the object can be adjusted later on to suit your need. You can also publish the object on the internet and you know there's there's a there's an example if you go to here here is you'll see that you know there's there's entire libraries of uh, of objects uh, maybe open a scan that are available for you to download play with edit change here's a good one uh, if you need a gear I'm sure you will find what you need in there again this is very likely a somewhat complicated piece of OpenSCAD code, but uh, if you're not a coder, you can simply read through the code and change some of the magic numbers in there to get what you want. Right. Um, yeah, that's basically it. It's uh, two key IDs to remember. You type in code, you get geometry out, and uh, you are capable of designing parametric object it can you know can be modified at will to produce uh, things that uh, that suit your needs and the, the the perennial example in the maker community is the box generator you create a specific box uh, with some width and hand and length and height and some rounding radius and then your next project you need a different box of a different type you just pop your open scale program you change a couple of magic numbers in your code and re-execute and you get a new box that fits your needs. Okay, that's basically it for this video.